three, three transport aircraft that's just coming in over the threshold out to your left. Uh, four engined, uh, Pratt and Whitney F117 turbofan engines. It's a it's a massive transport aircraft. Originally came into the RAF service. It was uh, back in 2003. It was leased with a deal that at the end of uh, the leasing period we may want to buy the aircraft, and we did. Uh, we've now got five of these aircraft operating. Uh, a, a long-range strategic uh, heavy lift transport aircraft. It's got the ability obviously to project power because it can carry an amazing amount of kit in that uh, fuselage. Um, it can carry uh, all of the, or virtually all of the air transportable uh, out, out size combat equipment used by the Army, the, the Warrior Armoured Vehicles, 13 Land Rovers, carry a whole ship that's what you really want to. Uh, so Apache size helicopters, you can get three of those in it. Uh, also equipped obviously to carry uh, troops if you want to uh, and the role that we actually see it in for the wrong reasons as I was saying earlier of course is the aeromedical evacuation role uh, when it's fully fitted out with things like stretchers um, and that's the aircraft that regrettably we often see coming in uh, to line them. So that's the uh, Globemaster 3 flown for us today by Jamie Telford. It's uh, 19, uh, sorry, 99 Squadron. Um, it can actually uh, transport over 45,000 kilograms of freight over 4,500 miles. It uh, flies quite high, it can go up to 30,000 feet. And though it's a big aeroplane, it's been designed to uh, operate out of uh, austere, fairly rough fields. It's designed to be able to do very steep approaches. Um, you can get the aircraft on the ground pretty quickly. Uh, all the kit can come out on pallets and, uh, and that's uh, unloaded very, very quickly indeed. So you can actually get this large aeroplane into some pretty small airfields. So it makes it uh, uh, strategic and tactical if you want to look at it that way. Currently the uh, Royal Air Force is the only Air Force in Europe that can offer this sort of asset. as the, the hospital air hospital link. Uh, they can get people who've been injured in the battlefield areas in uh, Afghanistan back to Selly, Birmingham uh, easily within 24 hours and that's probably the very critical period to get injured people back under full uh, medical care. But of course they come back with uh, uh, medical teams that are specially trained uh, to get these people back in uh, the best possible